as, as soon as I'm driving through traffic and I'm not looking at my negatives at the stoplights, then I need to switch careers. Film is not better than digital. It, it, it falls short in many aspects, and the sensitivity to being a physical object and the in inherent problems with that. Film, as a term, it kind of irks me in some ways as somebody who shoots film because it's given like this special quality, like, oh, it's film. And that's bullshit. It's just a tool for accomplishing a task. I prefer the tools, the cameras that take film over the ones that use digital sensors usually, but that doesn't devalidate the, the digital part of it and doesn't elevate the film part of it. For me, it's, it's just personal taste. Like, I just really enjoy, I, I would prefer to use a, a Pentax 6.7 over a 5D Mark IV. I own a 5D Mark IV because sometimes you need those, those images immediately after you take them, right? You need to turn them around that evening and give them to your client, which you can totally do with film. It's just a giant pain in the ass. Big giant step forward for me. Okay, right there. I like film because of the process of the way that it makes me approach my subjects. I like the way that it looks because I can use a larger negative. I just like the flow of it better. Like it's just so it's a, entirely a personal thing. It's like preferring pepperoni over cheese. Good. Let me grab it one more time. I had a conversation with somebody a few years ago, um, and this person is a, was a fairly sought-after photographer, like not crazy wealthy, not crazy successful, but was having success. And they were shooting on a DSLR. Through the course of the conversation, it basically came out that she didn't understand the relationship between ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. I was like, how are you, how are you photographing? Like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I just, I put it on uh, aperture priority, and I just let the camera figure the rest of it out. Yes. And I was like, there's part of me that like instantly is like, like is like, F you, like you are, you are the epitome of everything that I do not like about what modern photography can be. Upon further reflection, and this is probably for the reflection as in like where I'm at now, um, whatever. But I would never do that personally. It's, it feels cheap and cheesy and disingenuous. It's, it feels, or, or even, even wrong. Like it might even feel wrong to me. You're not a photographer then. You're somebody using a computer in the shape of a camera. The physicality of it, the very nature that it exists inside of my hands is what's important to me about it. Um, it's the fact that I get to take this, this piece of plastic and that has chemicals on it that have interacted with light and then I've chemically fixed it so that they will stay that way. Um, and I can take that and I can scan it, I can print from it, I can take the negative and I can do stuff to the actual negative and I can uh, like physically interact with this thing. I've seen people do the weirdest shit to their negatives, like take a blowtorch, like for making creme brulee and that kind of stuff, right? Uh, they'll take their negatives and they'll just like pass over once so they get all crinkled and like weird. Um, and, and then they scan them afterwards yeah. and you get these crazy burn holes in them and they look super cool and graphic and that's something that you can never do with a digital image. I got them on camera right now. Ha <laughs> ha
Wow. I want my camera to be heavy and have a um, have body, and I want there to be like, almost like a little soul trapped inside of there. When I drop one of my cameras accidentally, it's like dropping my kid. Like I'm like, <gasps> what have I done? Like it's just so not cool, yeah. you know. Um, and when I drop one of my digital cameras, I'm like who? Cares. Oh, got this dark know, spot down. It's hot. Anybody. It's super pretty. Ooh. And exude that character, and that counts for you guys also, right? So pick that character and just let it come out of you. All right. I'm gonna have you scoot. Come towards me just a little bit. Perfect. Good. And I'm gonna get a far shot here. Okay. When you're shooting with film, you have to you have to give yourself up a little bit. There's like this part of you that that has to be. I, I know my craft really well. I know how my camera works really well. I know how this film looks when I do this to it. And then you have to go forward with the with the this space of just knowing that that latent image is on the film and you have to trust that it's there. And then you just have to do what you're supposed to do and then it's there. Like it's magic. It's crazy to me. All right. Good, stick with me. One, two, three. Good. I didn't change my roll of film. Just powder in my nose if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just powder up a little bit.